Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Heal just says, I get on top of Zarya, I lock her down, and we have tons of CC to back it up. It will be actually the Akali to come through for Gen G here. So, Jovi having the ability to shut Duck Free. down. It is on the back of DRX's bottom lane, so have that information to just say, okay, well, the bottom lane isn't here, so they can't challenge me on this one. Uh, Rift Herald, as it is coming in, we're going to have a traditional LCK 5 we go. 5 on the Rift Herald in eight minutes. What is going on? As neither team wants to give this one up, DRX say we have enough early pressure, we should be able to challenge it. It's getting pretty low as the Cyclone does come in, gets some really nice value on the front line onto Rascal, and the final chapter hits the entirety off the choke point, so everybody gets rooted up and has to get out, and Chovy will just pick up a bonus kill. Make it two! As Chovy is fed at nine minutes into the game, and Genji got the first Rift Herald after and all of these exchanges. And they start stacking up, though. You miss these opportunities just slightly enough times. You find yourself 3,000 gold behind, two drakes behind, a herald behind <laughs> in this one. So definitely a little bit of what we see here at the beginning of spring, as always. Krako trying to find his spot as the enemy jungler is here. Peanut ready with the Cyclone as in they go. Doran trying to make something of this. He's getting pretty low, though, but still not enough damage here until Duck Tom gets here, tries to fight it back. As the calling does come out, he will pick up the one kill, and in fact, this rotation will net DRX a couple of kills. And yeah. Duck Tom and Barrel make their way to the top lane. Really good rotation from Duck Tom here until, unbeknownst to us, with hidden vision wise, Duck Tom and Barrel rotate up. Now, Chovy instantly goes bottom lane here and grabs a turret. So, yes, it is going to be a trade up macro wise here in terms of the gold, because Bounty Gold is going to go to DRX. But Genji still get a cross map out of this, but. That was an impressive self. Yeah, he's got his demolish and he'll take it down. And on the bottom side of the map, Bates trying to get another turret himself. Bounties have faded, so isn't going to be the big money they got. Still has Hextech Ultimatum. I think Jovi's kind of <laughs> not in a great spot. He's going to ult over, but Rascal's got another hook shot. And there's the Ultimatum. Should be a. Oh, nice timing on that one. But the bubble is going to kill him. That's actually pretty unfortunate for DRX, but at least they do shut down Jovi. I think uh, you could almost read Barrel saying sorry about that one there, but trying to help secure that kill. Still two turrets for this play. One in mid and an inner on the bottom side here as Peanut commits with Doran. So get gold where you can get it, DRX, but Genji are out trading you on the map macro wise. Oh, Pay's just going to ult here. He's just going to be able to dodge everything. He's got a Yumi on his back too. He's kiting this out perfectly. Even a silent. Lane. There's not a lot of good news. Um, and this is the pick that we saw topside required so much. Yeah, for sure. And Doran's really going to enjoy this mountain break, at least, as we are getting in onto that back line. Cyclone going to hit both of them. Barrel's tidal wave might be able to help this really huge bubble, at least, gets the both of them as Toby's still under the shroud. And Peanut he is quite tanky, at least, but he finally does go down. Pace here over the wall. He's got the Yumi with him and Chovy as a front line. And DRX once again just kind of left running away with their tail between their legs. Not much they could do in this fight as Pace is over the wall. And the sun is not going to land here from Fate as he has to flash and he is not getting away. Pace will pick up the double, I believe, at the end of this one. Nope, it's a triple. 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 Zero and two for the Zeri. Oh, baby, the triple. Bronk are sitting on oh, the, the uh, camera. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, Kronk are sitting over there, you know, clapping his hands, saying, that's my boy. I know it for sure. And I think in this game, we've seen a different type of skill expression than we saw in the last, right? And this is Paze's third game on the champion, right? And obviously, the first two, he's playing against Gumakaria. It was not the Lucian lane that he's facing this time around, where he was able to, with Peanuts' help, deal with the pressure extremely well. And in game one, he played Jin. He was a utility pick with a lethality build he chose, just helped do some extra damage from afar. Now he's really showcasing his skill, his positioning, his chase potential on this pick, and you can see why it was picked for him three times now. Oh, Doran. <laughs> Not sure where you're going, buddy. He just kind of gets awkwardly caught out there. As like really been cleaner. Just doesn't matter. Genji are playing with their food yeah. here. They're like, we're just going to push in the jungle, take what we want. Jovi incredibly fit at this point, even has a stopwatch if he needed to buy time. I don't think he really needs to buy time. Nope. Looks like Rascal needed to buy a bit as everybody was coming up 
or down rather, just the bottom lane. Hayes can just face check this. I mean, he not literally scared. could just run at them. Yep, Bubble not going to land. He's too fast. He's power gliding, you know. He's getting in there. And Croco and Duck Dom, once again, we've seen this a lot. Just kind of running away. I mean, he doesn't hasn't used heal yet. Okay, guard's not going to hit. Hayes just dodging everything. The movement extremely clean. Really showing off the confidence here from ahead. Great to see from this young player as double kill will go over to Peanut. And this one has... You know, I'm, I'm about to ask Atlas. Atlas if I was setting for Pace going into this matchup against DRX is this is where you can get your confidence back, right? Um, after a tough first series. All right, is this the moment? The, no. Looks like a no. Maybe they thought that Doran wasn't there, but even just Pace and Delight themselves, I mean, they have there. For me, this time it's Pace. Um, and Chovy's had a great game, and some of his escapes were crazy. He played the laning phase out so well. Kept Fate under turret for a long time, just outlaning the Silas super hard and slowed down his Rod of Ages progress and stuff like that. But I think this game has been defined by Pace's positioning and his aggression. And, you know, once he got ahead, he took the lead he was given and has just ended the game with it. That's that's my vote. That's my reasoning. Yeah. I'm giving it to Pace. I'll give you uh, my backing, my support. No, it means no. It means not a lot much. to me, okay? Not, not in terms of the vote, but, you know, at least it means something to someone. Remember the first season I cast an LCK where I read something down, you, like, grabbed the penny like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've come a long way, Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. And uh, Duck Dom, yeah, he's able to get in the back line here. They're just trying to fight front to back for what feels like the first time in this game, to be honest. Has been a lot of messy fighting here from DRX. They still have a lot to work of work to do. Uh, in this uh, split, as Toby. Toby, he's just putting on the putting on the show for everybody here. He's not showmaker, but he is Toby, and he's putting on a show here for the fans. As Gen G are looking to take this one down from 10,000 gold ahead, just two members left alive, and Fate not even able to kill much except for the Cassante. Give him another one. <laughs> well, seven oh six. Seven and oh. Rascal's still alive. Perhaps not for long. Perhaps not for long. I think it's, well, he's fine. He's okay, but the Nexus is not, sadly. Uh, I believe Pays' K KDA was 705 in the last series, or last game, rather. Wow, they're actually going to back away. Peanut dies to the turret. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are you Doran to back him up. Chobi here to say, oh, health bar is low. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellently done. Doran is caught, and it takes about 7,000 million bajillion years to take down this Cassante. But they do get there. There's a lot of years that uh, happen really quickly. It's really funny. We're in a new millennia now. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I don't even know where we are. Paze, though, is going to be able to get the follow-up, and this is the problem. We spend everything on the tank when you are far behind. A little bit of desperation, but what can you do? Chovy is, like, condition. really making a case for him to get Penta, POG, Penta, though. Penta? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Yeah. He's really making a case, okay? Uh, Saturday showdown, let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Peanut is just getting in there, and now he's got the cat, so he is uh, invulnerable, actually. That's the way it works. Uh, cats do offer that to you, that's why I have a cat in my house. I got four. Yeah, four. You're four invulnerable. <laughs> you have four stacks of invulnerable. I can actually have two cats attached to me at once. <laughs> I usually don't like it, especially when I'm trying to play an action game. True. Cats keep jumping on my controller, but this is going to be barren just to guarantee the push to end. They only have one inhibitor down because they were greeting to end Nexus earlier and were stopped. So arguably, if they wanted to play it by the book and very safely, probably could have taken down mid stuck inhibitor. Together. You know, like a big core of them have stuck together. So they're here in the beginning of spring and they're just so hungry for any action. They're like, okay, we want to get back on the rift and prove that we are the best. Yeah. Whereas some of the other teams are like, oh, I'm just like trying to figure out how to walk still. Yeah, it does feel that way. And it's like, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> it did feel that way for Genji against one of those teams. You mentioned T1, but not so much against DRX right now. The revenge is going to succeed, at least in this best of three. Chovy just running circles around Fate in this one, as he is able to do so in the final fight as well. Fate may survive, but uh, only 
in terms of the Rift, as they're all actually healing up. They are going to go for the Reengage. Not looking too bad for DRX, but maybe just a little bit. Okay, Doran. <laughs> he is just going to go into the fountain. Does not matter. Pays. Looking for a little bit of Penta action, and the minions said no. They're going to put an end to that nonsense, as Gen G will stomp in the first series here. The Saturday show.